We're here today at Cathedral Square Lofts for a Chamber of Commerce ribbon cutting. Hey, hey. Welcoming this wonderful new addition to downtown Dubuque. Everybody has heard for months now about the need for housing in downtown Dubuque with the influx of, of jobs that we have in our community. And uh, these folks have done a tremendous job of taking an old facility and making it like brand new again. And the fellow who was in charge of all of that was Chad Walsh. Chad, tell us about your project. Um, hi, I'm Chad Walsh with Epic Construction. We were the, the developer here on the project. Um, started here um, probably a little under a year ago, last, last November, um, basically gutting the building out and uh, getting it ready to, to, to bring into this condition. Um, really, it was a solid building. Um, there is a, another space down below, United Clinical Labs, that uh, occupied the building um, when it was, this space was, at the time, empty. And uh, so, you know, it's always had a good roof, um, you know, good... The windows were good, the, you know, that kind of thing, although we did replace those. But uh, it, it was a real solid building and, and, a, and a good project that we uh, decided to take on. Now, how big are the individual units that you have, typically? Um, individual units range from about uh, 850 square feet up to um, close to 1,900 square feet. And the building, of course, is a landmark in the city, and it's so good that nobody decided to take a wrecking ball to this. Because it's, it's got to be, is it 100 years old? It must be. Yeah, 1904. 1904. Well, that's real close to it, by yeah. guy. How many people did you have working on this? Because it's that's I think that's always interesting to know. Um, you know, at one time there were probably 40 to 50 guys here, you know, tripping over each other and <laughs> yeah, to, trying trying to get the thing put together. But uh, yeah, I would say up to 50 people at one time. Chad, on behalf of our mayor Roy Buell and our city council, and I'm joined today by Joyce Connors from the city council. I want to thank you and congratulate you. And uh, what a wonderful uh, project that you've completed. Um, as Paul said, housing is so important to us now in Dubuque, and this is a wonderful choice uh, for a great urban living right next to the cathedral. This used to be the school, and there's a lot of great karma in here, and there's a, uh, a lot of great history will be made uh, from, the, from the work that you've done. So thank you very much, uh, and congratulations, and best of luck to you, in, uh, filling this with great tenants. I remember when Epic Construction started before I even moved back to the area, so it's nice to see every project that Epic does complete with success. And we don't get to see every project out person, close and personal and see the phenomenal end result, and this is great. And I'm sure we'll all take a view and put the good word out there and get the last of the 24 filled for you. So that's wonderful, yes. Great location selling, obviously, for females. Go down a couple blocks from Main Street and go shopping, or you can go out to the mall and hit 20. So a great location again. And we are here to congratulate you on how we've done that. It is thanks to Jim Shoemaker. He's been put on the digital billboards on Highway 20. And thanks to Radio Dubuque, they've been advertised on all four radio stations. And on media, we'll be having this on Channel 22, and also viewed on Ambassador website and on YouTube. And that's thanks to Brian Zeman and Ambassador as well. One, two, three.